If you put fleas in a glass, they'll all jump out. If you put fleas in a glass and you put a lid on that glass, those fleas will jump up and hit their bodies against that lid until they realize that it hurts and they'll start to jump just below the lid. Once I have 100% compliance, I can take the lid off. And those fleas will never jump above the height of the lid. Can they though? Do they have the ability? Of course they do, but they don't. And this concept is called learned helplessness. The fleas have tried really hard in the past. They ran into obstacles. Those obstacles prevented them. And therefore, they learned to be helpless. Here's what's important though. You can even break the glass and those fleas will never jump out of the shape of the glass. Even the offspring of these fleas will never jump out of the shape of the glass. This is the work of Dr. Charles H. Turner from 1910. But what does this mean two, three, or four generations removed when you have some fleas who have been exposed to glasses and lids and other fleas who have not? What are the fleas who haven't been exposed to glasses and lids? What do they think of those who have? Few things. Lazy. Perhaps they think what's wrong with them. Or maybe even why don't they even try? Humans suffer from learned helplessness, just like fleas. But the larger question is, why do we put fleas in glasses? It's our jobs as leaders to ensure that we are making sure that the people who we have responsibility for are not exposed to proverbial glasses and lids.